So today I'm talking about a P0324 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. So what is a P0324 code? Well, it's a knock control system error. I and mean, some scan tools will give you the definition knock sensor module performance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called knock sensors that are bolted directly to the engine. And what they do is they listen for any kind of vibration or knocking sound or anything like this. And if there is, they report this information back to the computer, which then will adjust the timing a little bit until the knocking goes away. But when you get this P0324 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem with this knock sensor system. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0324 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that knock sensor has gone bad or there's some kind of issue with the wiring going to it. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. Sometimes these knock sensors are located in hard to get to spots. For example, sometimes they're located up underneath the intake manifold or they'll be located like up behind a starter or something like that. And so one thing to note about this is that a lot of people, when those knock sensors are hard to get to or hard to reach, is that they'll relocate it somewhere else on the block. It will need to be mounted to the engine very well. I don't recommend doing this, but a lot of people do it. Basically, they'll go buy a new knock sensor. They'll bolt it directly to the engine. It will need to be bolted very well to the engine. And then they find the wires going back to the computer. And basically, they just relocate it. And there can be one knock sensor or there could be two knock sensors. It really could vary. So it's a good idea to get a diagram where that sensor or sensors is located. Since depending on the engine, there can be one knock sensor or two knock sensors. It really can vary. Usually, if you have a four-cylinder engine, there'll only be one knock sensor, and if you have a V6 or V8, there'll be two. But again, it can vary, so it's a good idea to get a diagram where those sensors are located and what's going on. There's some different ways to go about testing those knock sensors. There's some good videos on it, so these sensors can be tested to see if they have gone bad. You can also get a wiring schematic for your particular vehicle, since there will be differences. And you can go and check and be sure that the wiring's good, there's no open, there's no short or anything like this going back to the computer or anything along those lines. One thing to note about when these knock sensors get relocated is that this can help you troubleshoot what's going on with it. And basically, if you relocate that knock sensor with the new knock sensor and you still get the code, then it might be an issue inside the wiring because now you have a good knock sensor. So the knock sensor might be good and there might be an issue inside the wiring. So while I don't recommend doing this, it can help you troubleshoot what's going on with it sometimes. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad knock sensor or the wiring going to it. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of engine malfunction going on. And basically that knock sensor might be doing what it's supposed to be doing, but there's some kind of problem with the engine that's just throwing everything off. And so this would be something like the timing's off or the wrong fuel was used for some reason, like ethanol was added to the vehicle and the engine can't run that way or something along those lines. So basically this knock sensor might be doing what it's supposed to be doing, but if there's some kind of engine malfunction that is causing some kind of issue like a knock or something like that, the computer might be trying to adjust the timing, but it can't, so it triggers this knock sensor code. Of course, usually if there is some kind of engine malfunction, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of engine malfunction. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this would be like a bad engine control module, a bad powertrain control module, or a bad engine control unit, however the manufacturer wants to call it but there might be some kind of issue going on with the computer. This doesn't happen too often, but these computers do fail sometimes. So it is possible there's a bad computer. If you do think it's a bad computer, be sure that your battery is good. Be sure your alternator is charging correctly because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply. And if they don't, then it could throw them off. It could cause them to do weird things. So if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure to check your power supply going to it. But the last thing that could cause this is a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0324 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.